Hello, uh, so this is uh, just a bit of a tutorial on how to use the radio support module that's within Purifier. Uh, lots of people have used it before, uh, but there were some things added and a lot of stuff wasn't mentioned. Uh, so it's just a brief overview. Uh, through the scroll wheel you can see that it'll bring up a list of your assets. Uh, you can see the map, you can see uh, the assets available. And at the top on the radio, you've got a dial, which allows you to flip through the presets. Uh, for this purpose, I've actually done this, uh, recorded this during a mission, so uh, there's a lot of assets missing, but it covers the basics. First, uh, I would like to cover transport. Uh, so you go through the asset menu, you find the transport that's applicable for what you need, and you click on the map and uh, it will show you an area. Uh, an A and a B marker so you can scroll out uh, and then just click again and drag it so that you've got a start point and a finish point and once that's done you just click confirm and there's just a case of waiting for the helicopter to come in Covey, Razorback 6. We need air support. Over. Razorback 6, Covey. Air inbound, one mic. Over. Same old thing. Hurry up and wait. All right, mate. Are you in for this or what? Fast forward, or once the helicopters come in, it comes into land, it will look for the, the nearest available uh, landing zone. But for the purpose of this, I have a landing zone placed out so it'll automatically path to the AI heli uh, to the helipad. And just mount up and board onto it. Once you've mounted up, you will get the option to change LZ. Uh, if you would select that, it will bring up your map and uh, you just find a more suitable landing zone and shift uh, and left click onto the mouse, onto the map. It will then automatically divert to wherever you need to be. So you don't have to be too bothered about where you put your A and B location, just as long as they're separated enough that the helicopter will take off again. And then once he's ready, he will fly to his destination and come in and land. take some time to land. Yeah. Okay, once you've landed it will automatically just kick you out of the helicopter and take off again, so don't be too worried about having to eject when needed. Uh, so for the next part, I'm going to go over uh, some of the more familiar ones, how to use artillery. Uh, how to use uh, airstrikes and then uh, to follow up lastly I will then uh, cover how to do uh, transport uh, supply drops so for um, airstrikes it's the same you click on the map you drag and drop in the direction you Cubby. ask how many Razorback you six. want it to be so we need air support over Razorback, Cubby, Roger and tell me where you want it 
Covey, light up the tree line to our west. Give me Snake, Snape, everything you got. Razorback 6, Covey. Air inbound, one mic, over. Razorback, Roger. Fast air inbound. Keep your heads down. Planes screaming in from the directions you've asked them to ingress and egress from. the boom. Pretty much on target. Razorback 6, Covey. Aircraft for Winchester. RTB. Out. Okay, next I'm going to move on to uh, artillery calls. So... If you've already called in an, air, an airstrike, it will already have it done in the direction. When you click on the map, it will show you one marker. However, you can drag it out. Uh, on the normal load, you will have, uh, for example, the 105 batteries will have uh, four rounds. Uh, but if you ask for a heavy load, it will double up. And that will also apply to the uh, mortars as well. Um, I forget the exact numbers, but I believe it's 12 and 6. Savage 7, Savage 7, Razorback 6, uh, so yeah, you fire mission, mission, over. Type, you, uh, this is Savage 7, area, go. Or you just drag it along the 4, line. 0, November, Victor, Alpha, in the open. Uh, really Moving great 2-1. 1030 mics, great 4. Give me 18, full out. battery. Fire for effect, I will adjust. BT fire. Shot. Shot out. Rounds complete. Flash. I do like the artillery cars on these, pretty damn accurate for the car itself. I want you to hear splash. If you want to, you can pretend to finish the car off yourself. And then get treated to a lovely walking carpet of bombs So the last round uh, hits, you'll get um, a call confirming that that's the last round, and then a cooldown. Savage 7, Razorback 6, good effect, out. Razorback 6, Savage 7, be advised, battery retasked, out. So the last one that I'll be covering is uh, support. Uh, so this will allow you to call in uh, ammo drops uh, and also uh, static objects uh, in crates. With this, there is a slight amount of drift because it's power dropped out of a helicopter. So you want to make sure that the place that you're calling in it in is very spacious, as you will see from the end of the video. But it works in exactly the same way as, say, you would call in uh, an airstrike. You click on an area, you drag it in the direction that you want it to come. And it will fall. Uh, so for this purpose, I will be calling in uh, an ammo crate. Covey, Razorback 6. We need air support. Over. Razorback 6, Covey. Air inbound, one mic. Over. Now, I thought I'd called it in on a wide, spacious area which it looks like on the map, but it, as you'll see, turns out not to be the case. And then once the hell is inbound, you'll uh, hear it coming in and uh, you'll be able to see a shoot.
flight. Razorback 6, Covey. Aircraft or Winchester, RTB. And it starts out, looks like it is going to land in the open area, but as you can see, the wind will carry it a slight amount. So I'll speed it up so I can go over and see what it, uh, where it lands. Oh dear. And as you can see from there, it's uh, it's on fire. It's burnt out. So yeah, be very very careful where you place the uh, the supply drops because that might happen. Uh, but that is uh, basically an overview on how to use the uh, radio support module. Uh, thank you very much for watching and. Uh, have a great day. Bye.